If you've played any FPS games made in the last 20 years or so, you're probably familiar with some of the different types of firearms. Pistols, shotguns, submachine guns, and of course, everyone's favorite, assault rifles. In fact, when was the last time you played an FPS game that didn't have an assault rifle? It's probably been a while, and it just goes to show how common they are in the FPS genre. But have you ever wondered why they're so common? To get a better understanding, we need to look at what the role of the assault rifle is in FPS games. And to do that, I actually want to talk about a game that that doesn't have assault rifles, Team Fortress 2. At this point, pretty much everyone knows about the different classes and their playstyles, but it has been noted many, many times that there are zero assault rifles in the game. For the longest time, I couldn't understand why, until I started reading people's opinions about it, and it seems like the idea, at least from a game design perspective, is that assault rifles would make all the other classes obsolete. More range than scout, more mobility than heavy, and more reliable damage than soldier, and the list goes on. Others argue that assault rifles just don't fit in a high mobility game like TF2 with a heavy emphasis on timing and skill shots. I'll explain why I don't agree with these arguments in just a second, but I can definitely see why Valve chose not to add assault rifles to the game, considering their past experience with games like Counter-Strike where assault rifles truly are the most dominant weapons in the entire game. The main role of the assault rifle is to be a premium, high damage weapon that works well in pretty much all situations. It's the Swiss army knife of guns, which is why they're so common and have used. As far as game balance is concerned, I don't think assault rifles are really that much of a problem. When Overwatch came out, it was pretty clear it took heavy inspiration from TF2, with high mobility gameplay and a range of unique heroes to play. But five years into the game's life, I don't think anyone thinks the one assault rifle wielding character in the game is too strong. Paladins has four characters with assault rifles, and usually only one or two of them are considered good at any given time. Not to mention the entire Call of Duty franchise, Valorant, and many other games where assault rifles are extremely common. Sure, they're good, but they're not so good as to be problematic. I think if there's one type of FPS game where assault rifles can be an issue, it's gotta be survival games, where the whole point is to overcome desperate situations with very limited resources. In that case, having a fully automatic assault rifle with tons of ammo can make the game feel a little too easy to beat, but that's just one very particular circumstance. And really, what it all comes down to in the end is the fun factor. Assault rifles are just too fun not to include in as many FPS games as possible. Game developers are gamers too, and they want to make games that they personally enjoy. And I for one am really glad that that is the case. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, bell, follow me on Twitter, and have a nice day. Got you. Did I really do that? Was that really me? Well, okay. <laughs>